So in this video, we'll be working on sine arc tangent x over 2. Also, you can write as sine tan inverse x over 2. And cosine arc tangent x over 2 is same as cosine tan inverse x over 2. We know some formulas like if you have sine then arc sine, then you can cancel it. But in this case, we have sine and arc tangent or tan inverse. So what we do first work on tan inverse x over 2, make a right triangle. When you make a right triangle, then you know that tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is x and adjacent is 2. Then your hypotenuse will be x squared plus 2 square meaning is 4. So you get that right triangle. So then we can write now sine tan inverse x over 2 as sine now we convert it to sine inverse so sine goes we know that so, so opposite over hypotenuse so that one is x over the square root of x squared plus 4 so that means this one is sine sine inverse cancelled get x over the square root of x is cut plus 4. Same way when you are looking for cosine tan inverse x over 2. Now you keep your cosine. So tan inverse now will convert to cosine inverse. So cosine inverse we know adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 2 over the square root of x is cut plus 4. Now cosine cosine inverse cancelled out your answer will be 2 square root of x squared plus 4. Now we will do other way also. Now we have two more examples, very similar way. Now I have tangent of arc sine or tangent of sine inverse. So the right triangle will be constructed from sine inverse. And we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So your opposite is x and hypotenuse is 2. So then using the Pythagorean, you can easily find that this one will be hypotenuse square, which is 4 minus leg square. So you got your right triangle completed. Now you take your tan sine inverse x over 2. You can write this one as tangent sine inverse will convert to tan inverse now. And for this triangle, when you are saying tan inverse, so tan inverse is opposite over adjacent. So tan inverse is giving you x over the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now tan tan inverse cancelled out, you get x over square root of 4 minus x squared. So you are done with the first part. Now let me go to the second part. Second part, here I have cosine of arc sine. So let me put here cosine. So then what will happen now, I have to convert sine inverse to cosine inverse. So first I keep here cosine. So sine inverse goes to cosine inverse and you know cosine inverse is adjacent over hypotenuse. So you square root of 4 minus x squared over 2. Now cosine cosine inverse cancelled out and you get square root of 4 minus x squared over 2 and you are done.